Hello and welcome to yet another edition with the consultee. My name is Chacha Wabara and today we'll be talking about podding. Instagram is a war zone and every vendor, every entrepreneur, if you know that you're using Instagram for business, then you're in because Instagram is for the brave hearted. Hello there and welcome to yet another edition with the consultee. My name is Chacha Wabara and today we'll be talking about Instagram podding how it affects your page, how it affects your business, how it affects your, your uh, growth on Instagram, right? So what is podding? Um, in simplest of terms, I would say podding has to do with, um, podding is a situation whereby vendors, entrepreneurs, business owners that own business pages on Instagram, you know, like-minded people coming together for the purpose of um, increasing their engagement on Instagram. Now you know that um, it's really difficult for your page to appear on people's timeline. So it only appears on, on people's timeline, that is on Instagram. It, your page, your post appears on people's time on people's timeline that tend to like your post, that tend to um, what would I call it now? That tend to to engage in your posts, right? So if no one is engaging on your post, Instagram tends to like you know hide your posts in the sense that um those who are following you would not see your posts on their timeline it will not appear as often as pages that they go to every day so let's just say now that i like going to insta blog ninja so um as soon as i get into instagram and i start scrolling the page most the page i would see more often than not is instagram ninja Insta, sorry, Insta blog Ninja and other pages like Linda IKG. You know, my history. What is my habit? What are the pages I tend to, you know, you know, want to rush into the first time, the first thing I do as soon as I get into my Instagram. So that is what that is what Instagram or an algorithm will push to your timeline. Now, if you are following some people and you know you're not really interested in their page you notice that more often than not you don't see their pages on your timeline so same thing happens with um, business pages if you own a business on instagram um, chances are like if you have ten thousand followers on instagram chances are only one thousand people see your posts in a day okay so that is why a lot of people tend to want to join pod groups to increase their engagement because if people are liking your posts and you know you're moving to explore of course a lot of people not even following you will tend to see those posts that you're putting up and you know visit your page look at your profile and do whatever it is that they want to do engage like buy whatever it is of um, joining pod, um, pod groups now, with podding groups there are times when you post there are times when you engage there are times when you have to be there so it's not a matter of just you know um like it's done in uh in pod groups that you as soon as the admin drops you know the hashtag for the morning or the evening or afternoon depending on whenever it is that you're putting then everybody goes to use the hashtag uses it and then go you don't just use it and walk away you now have to you know it's like a, a quid pro quo you give and take back it's a mutual thing it's a mutual agreement so the those vendors who are liking you you should also like them back like their post back whether you don't like their post back you see that you're evicted from the pod or you're called a hashtag thief or you're fined and you have to pay but that's very fair we're not talking about how pods um, um function to that extent what we're talking about today is um does it help grow your page on instagram i'd say um if you're starting out on instagram because a lot of us do not have money to run you know ads frequently on instagram neither do we have that kind of money to patronize you know to go meet um, um an influencer to say oh please um i have this product i have my business please give me a shout out or i need to run an ad on your on on your page please blah 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 blah, blah. A lot of people tend to use podding for this reason if you use uh, pods if you join a pod you don't need to run an ad 
I said this again, if you use a bit, if you join a pod and you pod strategically, you may not need to use, you may not need to, you know, run ads anymore. But then in the long run, how does it affect your business? As a small business owner on Instagram with a small page still growing, um, chances are at that time you're able, you're fast, you're faster than your shadow, you're able to even out and make sales. But with time, Instagram notices, the algorithm notices that, you know, let's just say you have um, 2,000 followers and at the end of the day because of the pods that you're joining, you have 1,500 likes. It's not going to be possible because Instagram knows that a small page cannot get 1,500 likes. It is not possible. Same people every day. Same people every day. Let's just say average of maybe 20 or 30, 40 more people outside that pod are liking because they've seen your post on Explore. But apart from that, just the same regular people, just those same regular people liking your page in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and at night. It's going to raise, it's going to raise red flags and Instagram will now tend to, you know, be hiding your post when you don't use Podding hashtags. That's one. No one will see you. Even if you you are so good at um, this hashtag um, strategy, or you do whatever, you have good friends. Even if you have this um, power likes and all that, Instagram will discountenance it because Instagram knows that they've seen it and they've known that they'll just tell you that you're using bots or a third party to gain likes and followers because you're not supposed to be growing according to them at that. Uh, speed they're not supposed to get that number of likes so what would they do they will hide you they will block you they will log you out so many things you start having problems with your page and which makes you depend more on hashtags a lot of a lot a lot of people cannot operate on instagram without using pod hashtags i take myself as an example um i started i started podding in 2018 middle 2018 and it favored me i will not tell you lies it really favored me because um it made me consistent it made me disciplined in posting in putting up posts right i was able to be intentional i actually took my business on instagram to a whole new level it made me it challenged me now i was getting more likes but for me it helped me in such a way that I took advantage of those likes. It wasn't just to just put up just a random post and then drive likes. No, I intentionally used it to grow to grow my page, to grow my followers, and to get sales. It's not enough for you to have those likes. Yeah, people will come, but I turned those likes into customers, into clients, into people that even if they followed me because of the podding they are staying now because they genuinely like my page and it brought other people to me then on the other hand as i kept on growing instagram i started having problems on instagram i started having i started getting blocked every other time i'm not talking about the normal blocks yes instagram can be crazy at times but i started getting blocked more often than not instagram will keep logging me out will keep telling me that I'm using third party, I'm using third party, especially when I genuinely started growing, especially when people started liking my content for what it actually was. And I wasn't able to track my success my, or my progress because I would say, okay, um, podding pushed me. And if I don't pod, the first hundred likes I get won't bring the remaining 800 and something likes I get. That was my thinking. That was where I, I knew I now had gotten addicted to podding. So I would give myself breaks. I would say, I would take excuses from the pod group and just leave my page bare. Um, I started noticing that when I put up a post without a pod hashtag, I don't get so much visibility. As a matter of fact, I just get three likes. So you can imagine a, um, a page with 11,000 followers using all the hashtag strategy I knew and all that. And I will still get three likes, four likes, eight likes at most if it was so wonderful. 15 likes right and it didn't all go down with me what what did it do for me i went deeper into hashtagging in, sorry into podding i had to pod i can't i couldn't do without podding but you know my page was dying that is the problem my page was dying i would i i literally had to now move into creating dummy accounts just to pod you know backup pages to pod but instagram took note of those backup pages and blocked or disabled those backup pages. 
you know so when you keep growing when you start growing to a particular level you really start having issues with your accounts when you keep putting some people are really lucky i don't know how they do it but um they don't seem to be having issues or they don't pod every day i don't know how they do it but because i'm in a pod and i'm not an admin i'm mandated to um to to engage every other day and i can't do without it and i have to sell yeah i have to sell that's the essence of my being on instagram so i literally have to pod every day except um, um except I've, I've taken permission so what did i do i took myself out of podding what happened to my page my page died like literally it died my page died you know um, <laughs> i started waiting for it to be buried i had never been so depressed in my life that is the effect leaving a pod gets you know that that's the effect of a pod on your page you you you, you just you you lose everything what happened first people started unfollowing me unfollowing me i just well, I, I didn't know what to do but i just I went back to pod. I podded for for two, three, four more days, and Instagram. It was worse. It was worse than even <laughs> before. Instagram just <laughs> Instagram was almost taking my account down. So I knew the die was cast. I stopped podding, and my page wasn't seen by anyone. So I started like I became like um, um, a new a new. Um, a new Instagrammer, what they call it now? Someone who just has a new page on Instagram. I started from ground zero with my over 11,000 followers. In fact, that even dropped over 12,000 for that dropped and dropped and dropped. I just kept on seeing my followers going away. The ones that Instagram wanted to take, they took. The ones that were going, were going. Everything just seems to be down. Nobody asking me how much. Nobody even laughing at my jokes. Nobody doing anything. But I persisted. I continued day one, day two, day three, day four. Because I was recording it to know just how long it takes after you stop podding for your page to come back to normal. Um, I have a friend who has gone through that well, well, that phase, and it kind of like took her like a month, two months. So I was like, okay, right, let me just see where this will take me. So um, day seven, I posted a video and I had um, over one thousand views. Okay, so I was like, okay, um, maybe it was too interesting. Let me just leave it. Day 8, day 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Day 14, I, I, I put up a post. From day 14, I started getting from 2 likes, 3 likes, 4 likes. I started getting 40-something likes, 30-something likes, 50-something likes, 70-something likes, right? And just, you know, the, 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 the those following me started coming, you know, started getting 2 or 3 follows. Two or three people following me in a day two or three people following me that's where that's where i am right now okay uh, initially i used to have like 20 people following me a day you know people were coming following me and all that and i was basking in that euph euphoria it's not like that anymore instagram is still sinking my account i'm just only coming up for air right now i'm still in that place so two weeks and a half i'm coming back right i'm coming back now people as soon as I post, I, 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 in say five, six, seven, ten minutes, I start to see progress. And um, day seventeen, I had people requesting for my products again. So um, I, I, I'm not still out of the woods yet, but yeah, that's what it, that's what putting does to you. Like a quick um, fix um, is addictive. It's wonderful. I can't begin to tell you how wonderful it is. It's just like you wanting to be a millionaire and seeing someone else's money right there. You take the money and you call yourself a millionaire. That's what podding is all about. I love podding. I would, if I wasn't having issues with my account, if um, there wasn't something like Instagram, um, um, you know, um, against podding and any such activity, I would happily pod right but what it does to your account you would your all your sweat all your hard work all your you know your your, your the effort you've put into your, your instagram page to grow your business will be nothing gone gone dead gone if you keep podding a lot of people have lost their accounts okay so in the long term short term is wonderful Okay, if you begin to have issues with your account, you can alternate the days of your body. But long-term effect, wrong. You're just dying a slow death. You know, your page, your beautiful page, you're just killing it every day. Killing it every day. That's what it does. So at the end of the day, there are pros and cons to podding. And in the long run, it's still not wonderful for your page. 
for your for, for you know for the growth of your business page so if you're just saying that um i don't know it's not just good if you're even if your, your, your page is on private not really private if your page is on um um personal right that's what it's called right or you know as long as you put instagram will begin to bury your page there's no you know it, it depends on how fast it is or how uh, you know long they decide to clamp down on you but believe me they will clamp down on you and then the hours that you spend doing the liking the commenting and the spammy comments and all that you know it was taking a huge toil on me i couldn't do anything as a matter of fact it was after i stopped podding and all that and then it just don't look at look at how i'm looking <laughs> i became i felt so ill i could hardly do anything for myself i'm only just coming out i'm only just coming out you can see i don't look good at all at all you know part of the stress and all that people just so even if you want to pod, I'd advise you to to uh, join pods that don't have don't do compulsory engagements because those compulsory those pods that do compulsory engagements will kill you. You will just die. You will just be so stressed out. You won't even know what to do with yourself. So if this is your first time joining <laughs> joining me here, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the subscribe button. Turn up the post notification, okay, so that you would um, be notified when a new person comes up. Thank you so much for joining me.